I have always been fascinated with AI technology. I personally have experienced a lot of innovative solutions using AI both in startups and corporates. But I have one question, which I believe it's in the minds of many people as well. Will this digital revolution result in mass unemployment with machines replacing human beings everywhere? Mr. Joby, let me answer your question with an explanation about intelligence. Intelligence doesn't reside only in individuals' brains or computers. It is also there when there are groups of people, or in other words, intelligence arises among groups of people as well. This type of intelligence is called as collective intelligence. Now, by that definition, collective intelligence has been in existence for years together. We are seeing lots of examples of that in armies, in companies, in organizations and uh, institutions. Technology has enabled a new type of intelligence wherein you don't just connect groups of people, but here you connect groups of people with groups of computers. Now computers and machines together is enabling a new type of intelligence which is actually uh, giving businesses very innovative solutions. So the question that we have to ask now is how can we connect computers and machines in such a way that the collective intelligence that they exhibit is far superior than any individual group. In order to answer that question we have to ask another question. What are human beings good at and what are computers good at? We all know that computers are good at storing and processing vast amounts of information and human beings are good at uh, relating to people and also moving and reasoning with people. Therefore, if we can create a solution which can leverage these individual strengths, then the solution that we are creating will also be a very intelligent solution. Let me give you an example. We all use Google technology almost every day. Millions of people create web pages and link to each other and Google technology harvests all this information so that whenever a user searches for a particular query, it correctly gives the relevant information. Another example is Wikipedia. Lots of people create uh, very intelligent uh, information and the technology behind Wikipedia scans that information and checks for plagiarism or any other inappropriate uh, words and then it approves the content. Now from these two examples you can very well see that the solution that we are enjoying is not just created by machines, it's created with the help of both humans and machines. So I think this is a long explanation uh, to your question, uh, you cannot do away with human beings experience and labor. It is very, very important. But the nature of work is definitely going to change. One thing that will still remain is machines cannot replicate human level of intelligence. We will talk more about what machines can do and what human beings can do in the next videos. In one line, all I can say is it is the combination of these two groups that will give us a viable solution.